do you want to help me make some dog treats? You do? They're gonna be homemade. We're gonna bake them. You get to pick out your favorite shape. Is that something, is that something you want? Is that something you want to do? We're gonna, we're gonna make some treats. Deal. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching all of my Vlogmas videos. This has been such a dream come true. And you know what else is a dream come true? Learning how to make homemade dog treats. This is Calvin's dog treat jar. As you can see, it is always on the center of our counter. And inside are his treats. I made these. I literally made these dog treats the other day. I made bone shape and I made I made paw shape. Don't make fun of my nails. My nails are really bad right now. <laughs> How good is that? So good. You want some? Calvin literally just ran over here to get some. So he likes them. I have kind of been on a little bit of a journey with his food and treats and I want to be able to provide him with a very healthy diet. I want Calvin to be around forever and obviously you can't not give your dog a treat so it might as well be healthy if you're going to do it and um, I only buy him like pretty simple ingredient treats. I'm not someone who is like buying him all of these other kind of treats. I don't know. I want to transition him to a raw diet. Um, I think that is obviously something that he's gonna like better than eating dry brown kibble balls. So <laughs> um, I can only assume the same about his treats. They're probably not made with fantastic ingredients. They probably don't taste that good and I feel like I should be able to eat his treats and you know if it's good for me then it's obviously good for him. I went on the internet and I was looking up recipes for dog treats um, because I wanted to include this during vlogmas. We have a lot of friends with dogs <clears throat> and so this can even be something that you can make at home and you can make for your friend's dogs and you can give this as a gift. It's a really good gift. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And this recipe made so much dough. So even if you wanted to cut this into a fourth, I think you would be okay. If you want to cut it into half, you'd be okay. Um, I made the full thing and it was a lot. I still have four huge balls of dough sitting in my refrigerator. Um, I did replace, so you can make little substitutions in this recipe. I use coconut flour, for example. The original recipe called for wheat flour, um, but I just use coconut flour. Um, Calvin doesn't eat corn, wheat, or soy, so you can just make little swap outs for whatever is good for your dog. And as anything, you know, just give them a little bit to try and just make sure that they like it and like it's not upsetting their stomach, but it has all the ingredients in there are good for dogs. And um, I mean, I even tried it and I thought they were pretty yummy. So um, that is my treat recipe. So now we're gonna get into the part of the video where I show you how I made the treats and I make them and I show you how they turned out. Um, I do want to preface this with the fact that because I use coconut flour, they're very crumbly. So they don't look super beautiful, but I promise you they are really high quality dog treats. Um, and you know, you can even look up a dog friendly icing and you could ice these and decorate them if you wanted to take things a step further. Um, and you could put them in like cute little containers. But anyway, let's get into the video. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. All right, so for the dog treats, this is literally all you are gonna need. There is one cup of water pre-measured in my Pyrex, and you're just gonna need honey, baking powder, one egg, coconut flour, and peanut butter. For the cookie cutters for the dog treats, I ordered these adorable little cookie cutters um, that are in the shape of dog treats on Amazon. So there is one um, in different sizes that are a bone shape, and then a bunch of them that are a paw shape. 
super cute. I'll link them down below. Calvin is small and all of his friends are small. I went with the smallest bone shaped, uh, bone shaped cookie cutter and the smallest little paw shaped. watching this video where I made some dog treats for Calvin. He absolutely loved them and he keeps begging for them. In fact, he's standing in front of me right now because I've said the word treat like a million times while recording this and I have taken out the treats to show you guys. So <laughs> he's like, you want a little more? It is Friday. Right now, I am going to quickly edit and upload this video, and then I am going to see some friends tonight, just two of them. We're still COVID safe here. Cheers to that, you guys enjoy your Friday night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow in a new video.